Hello Taurus, hello everyone, my name is Griva Hurat and welcome to our new episode of Surfing the Elliott Waves where I will look at some of the most interesting developments for this week. This video has been brought to you by Orbex. I will cover cable, euro pound, pound yen, dollar index and German DAX. Now uh, since last, uh, last time um, and last updates we were talking about cable and potentially uh, bullish reversal after we identified those five waves up followed by a complex corrective decline and also we have seen a very nice bounce from below this fourth wave support with an impulsive price action as you can see here confirmed also on the one hour chart you have five waves up here and in fact this recent retracement all the way back to 61.8 percent of this latest rise has also corrective characteristics so current recovery uh, was anticipated and it looks like there is more upside coming now minimum objections for this current third lag would be that you take the first distance and measure it from end of this correction and you will came out with the levels here around 1.24 uh, so for now I think that pound remains strong and not only against the US dollar it could be also staying uh, strong against the Japanese yen. We have seen a very nice bounce here as well from around 60 and 50% retracement and so far we can see that market is trading just a few pips away here from this uh, highs that I think can be taken out very soon. Uh, looking at the bigger picture if we are starting to accelerate much uh, higher here with much sharper price action then i really would not be surprised to see this resumption all the way towards 135.70 level however we have to consider a few things uh, when we are looking at um, this pound yen pair firstly um, there were some talks that um, uk could potentially see negative you uh, negative rates if that would happen of course this is not the policy that sh is already in play it's just uh, some consideration so if this would maybe happen of course uh, the pound could potentially come lower now the next thing that we have to keep in mind is obviously the stock market the stock market i know it's a very bullish but it potentially moving into resistance okay so pound yen in such case if stocks come down and there is a lot of talks uh, about the potential negative uk rates then obviously this could limit uh, potentially upside here on pound yen as well so it's very important to keep an eye on the validation levels and in such case i would move it uh, from that level to this to this level okay so as long the market is still trading above this level i think that there is a chance for more upside but if we draw below that level then wave count itself and the whole structure would become a little bit more tricky uh, now let's take a look also on the euro pound to get the overall view about the pound situation so pound is now on the rise against the japanese yen and against the us dollar and we can also see at the same time some recovery against the euro as the euro pound comes down and in fact we have seen a reversal from this 0 0.9 psychological level and if you will take a look here it's not only a psychological level it was also a technical level it was here this swing low and also it was here this 38.2 percent so if we can see more downside here and maybe even make an overlap with this wave a then i would not be surprised by more weakness uh, here on the euro pound in the next few uh, few days maybe even few weeks while pound dollar against the us dollar could potentially rise to much further uh to much further uh levels now let's take a look also on dollar index now dollar index is i think it's also very important guide to to look for potential moves uh, on pound on uh, against the us dollar of course then on euro against the us dollar swiss franc and japanese yen so those those currencies could actually gain a lot more against the us dollar if us dollar index would come to the downside what we see here on the us dollar index is that potentially this triangle is coming to an end okay it's not a breakdown yet but if we can see a daily close below this wave d swing low and at the same time below this trend line then i think that more weakness will be seen for a wave c and in such case overall dollar uh, could decline from uh, against those currencies that i mentioned meaning that cable could still stay on the rise and looking for much more upside what i like about the one hour chart at the moment is that we have seen here an overlap with this wave a and if this current drop will unfold 
in five waves, which for now it's not the case yet. Okay, but if this will unfold as a five wave structure, then I think that more weakness is coming, identified by this hourly price action. Okay, um, also let's take a look now on DAX since I'm uh, talked about that potentially we could see limited upside here on stocks. So what I see here on, on DAX is that actually we have a very nice recovery here from March lows, no doubt, and I think that much more upside will be seen. But nothing moves in straight line, there could be pullbacks, we have a sentiment when looking at the put call ratio at some extreme levels, a lot of calls are being bought, so markets anticipate that actually uh, stock prices will fly much, much higher. But when we are moving into some extreme readings of those calls, um, there may be an, impor uh, an important indication that we are in final stages of this current advance. So what I'm looking at here is potential five wave rise here for a wave A, maybe even wave one that could possibly looking for end of this rally right at this gap we are looking at a four hour chart we are at this march 09 gap and as you know this was a very important time for this breakdown because a few days earlier crude oil came down and then on march 09 other markets as well started to decline very sharply us and of course other uh, global uh, indexes as well so um what i'm looking at here when uh, looking at the primary chart is that maybe we are going to complete this five wave rise at this zone and we'll see a pullback of course i will not say that we are going to turn bearish i just say that you should be aware of potential limited upside and be aware of a much better opportunities maybe to join this trend after a pullback rather than buying here okay of course it's definitely not idea to short here as well definitely not because after all trend is up you just look for better opportunities within this uptrend but of course better opportunities are always from better lower prices okay Therese, thank you very much for your attention i hope that you enjoyed this video talk to you soon bye